Hello everybody, uh, this is the YouTube channel that we have which is called Translation Aids and you are more than welcome to subscribe. We have 17 subscribers now, yay! And uh, we will be continually adding uh, instructional videos every now and then as the need pops up. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to insert previously translated text. Let's say it's an advertisement that you have translated several times before. And instead of starting from scratch by entering the time codes, entering the translation all over again in your current translation, there's a much quicker way to do this, providing you have that information saved in a separate file. And I am going to show you um, like here, for instance, um, this is a document, right? You know, Microsoft Word document. And I'm just going to delete what is irrelevant. And I'm going to save the file as a text file. This is important because you want subtitle edit to recognize the file and do what you need with it. So instead of Microsoft Doc, go down to text like that and we'll call it, um, I'll just call it import one, import one to block. Okay, so go, go to save, keep current format. It's really important that you actually um, close this document before you go to subtitle edit and import it. Because if you try and import it when the document is open, there's going to be a conflict and subtitle edit will then tell you that it's unable to import it. Now, before I start, I am going to open someone else's translation. I'll just pick this one. And here we have a translated text. And oh, it's done by Orsa Eriksson. Sorry about that, but then again, Here's her moments of fame. <laughs> uh, let's pretend now that in this translated text there is an advertisement. Let's pretend it's just after line 72. So what we will do is we will highlight that line, we'll do a right mouse button click on it, and we'll click on insert after. Okay, so there's line 72 the end of the sentence and now we've got an empty row. You're going to like this. This is really good. Now we'll do a right mouse button click on the highlighted line and then we'll roll down to column and then from here you make sure you, you select the correct item which is import text and shift cells down. This is going to save quite a bit of time for many of you actually. Okay, import one Sid Roth was the previously translated text which was also edited and approved by the editor and that's here. So I'm going to select that and open. There's the original text file here in this section and then down here is a sneak preview of what it's going to look like once it enters the subtitle edit software. Please make sure that you've got the menu items here selected accordingly, which is split at blank lines, and you've got ticked remove empty lines and remove lines without letters. Now we click OK, and look at that. Look at this. From line 72, We've automatically got the timing fixed and adjusted because the duration, the timing codes was included in that text document. And look at that. The only thing you really do need to make sure of now is still just as important is when you play your video, make sure that the timing transition is suitable from this sentence into the advertisement. For instance, maybe there is a slightly longer pause or a slightly shorter pause. Okay, I don't know because I don't have the video, but you're easily able to do that because you already know how 
to use those functions. And what you need to do is you do not alter the duration, but what you need to do is to alter the start time only. And you can do that manually or, um, or in whichever way you can slide the little section down here when you have your waveform. Anyhow, I'm sure this is going to help a lot of you because um, there's a lot of pre-translated and edited text which um, we have saved for you to make the work a lot smoother and faster. Thanks a lot. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.